Okay, good afternoon everybody, and welcome to the first ever JET Alumni Author Showcase. I am Shri Kurlikar, and I'll be your MC today. Um, I am the outgoing Jitani um, Vice President, and as of April 1st, I will be one of the 30 country representatives for the U.S. Mm. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we get started, I'd like to make a couple of announcements for you guys. One is, uh, first, I'd like to thank Tina Cunha for providing the books for this event, and just so if you guys know, um, if you buy all three, you get a $5 discount, it's $42 for all of them. Uh -huh. um, we'd like to thank Peter Tartara of the New York Comic Con and the New York Anime Festival for providing DVDs, posters, and other prizes for this event. Um, speaking of prizes, they are available for anyone who purchases books and um, everyone who fills out and returns the feedback survey. So, incentives. <laughs> um, we'd, also, we'd also like to thank Donna, Dolly Bella Bakery, owned by JET alum and former JET Tijani New York President Yvonne Thurman. Um, you can, you'll see the green tea Pacellis for everyone, which can be picked up on your way out. Um, we'd especially like to thank wherever, is, um, the uh, Consulate General of Japan in New York for all of its support and encouragement. And um, Nori goes back there. She's our liaison. We are honored to have here today um, former minister at the Japanese Embassy in the Philippines, Mr. Akira Sugiyama, the, the current director of the Jap Japan Information Center, which is part of the J Japanese consulate, who will now share a few comments with us. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am uh, Akira Sugiyama, director of the Japan Information Center, uh, Consulate General of Japan in New York. Uh, on behalf of uh, Ambassador Sakurai, uh, actually, who, who actually left last Friday, and incoming Ambassador <coughs> Yoshimiya, and everyone at the consulate, I am very delighted to be here today and uh, welcome uh, these three talented authors, your fellow former Jets, uh, Mr. Roland Kelps, mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. James Kennedy and Mr. Robert Weston to this JET al Alumni Author Showcase. Uh, it's great that the, uh, their time on JET, JET program, directly or indirectly, inspired such creativity. And uh, I didn't know, and who knew, that Naraka, which produced two <laughs> out of uh, three of today's guests, it's such a hotbed of uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, young jet authors. <laughs> it's wonderful to see my friends from uh, Jet AA or Jet E again. Only a few weeks ago, uh, like many of you, uh, I was uh, busy interviewing the last group of jet candidates at the concert. It was my first time since I came here last September. In fact, I sat on an interview panel with today's moderator, uh, Mr. Randall David Cook, uh, asking those poor candidates <laughs> to <laughs> demonstrate an American holiday to us, pretending to be sixth grade kids. <laughs> so anyway, it's great to see so many familiar faces today. <coughs> uh, spending time interviewing JET candidates the other day reminds me of how this program, JET program, has grown and matured. Most importantly, I gained uh, newfound respect for the uh, critical role that uh, former JETs play, not only this uh, JET uh, selection process, but also in the, uh, creating a dynamic network of uh, creative, talented professionals who share across cultural understanding of Japan. In this respect, uh, we at the uh, Consulate General of Japan in New York appreciate uh, the, acti the uh, very um, forward-looking activities of the JET, JET A in New York. Your passion and expertise are impressive and enriching the uh, both sides of the Pacific, Japan and the United States. Also, in today's challenging environment, economic environment, it is important there is 
important that there is an active and dynamic uh, and growing network of uh, former JET alumni. <coughs> I hope JET AA will sponsor more, more events like this one to bring together alumni from a uh, uh, vast uh, range of uh, professions. Uh, I extend my appreciation to uh, Vice President Sherry Kulikar, Mr. Stephen Horowitz, and all other JFAA New York distinguished members, mm -hmm. uh, moderator Randall David Cook, and the uh, Kinokuniya Bookstore who make this event possible. Uh, finally, as I mentioned, uh, Ambassador Sakurai, <coughs> who many of you know, a great believer in the JET program, uh, left us on Friday. But uh, as you know, uh, he is coming back to New York at his new position as president of the Japan Society. And so uh, I'm sure you will see him very often uh, from now on. Our new Consul General, Ambassador Nishimiya, uh, arrives one week from now. He is the former director of uh, North American Affairs Bureau of the <coughs> Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So uh, he is well acquainted with the JET program. And uh, I know uh, that he is very much looking forward to working closely uh, with the JET, -A JET -A in New York. And uh, please enjoy uh, today's enlightening talk with uh, creative authors. And uh, best wishes to uh, all of you uh, for a wonderful spring. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sugiyama-san. Um, I'd also like to take a moment to say, please turn off your cell phones. should go without saying <coughs> that, um, like the movies, I've been that person as well. So just make sure it's on... Not even vibrate. Let's just go ahead and put the sound off if you can. Um, okay, so now I'm going to turn <laughs> things over to our moderator for this event. He was a jet in Fukui Ken from 1991 to 1993. He's a writer and a playwright and is an author of the highly acclaimed off-Broadway play Sake with Haiku Geisha, which was based on his own jet experience and which will premiere in Los Angeles in the fall. He gave a memorable keynote address at the pre-departure orientation this past summer and is currently collaborating with Joey McNeely, the choreographer for the recent West Side Story revival, on a play with dance called Shadows. Please welcome Randall David Cook. Thank you, Shereen. So, uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you. This is probably the first Japanese event I've ever attended that did not start on time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, so, we've already created a landmark, so congratulations. <laughs> um, it's my great pleasure to be here today with three very, very talented writers. Um, I have spent the last part of the week reading all their books. Thank you very much. Um, mm -hmm. And um, if you haven't read their books, you're going to get to hear them portions of them today, and also get to um, hear about what inspires them, their process, and also a little bit about the business of writing. Um, to my far left <coughs> is uh, James Kennedy. Clap. Who will be reading from the Order of Odd Fish. And in the middle is Roland Kelts. <laughs> also of Pan America, How Japanese Pop Culture Has Invaded the United States. And to my immediate left is Robert Paul Weston, <laughs> author of Gorka Mizzou. Is that how you pronounce it? It is correct. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I thought it was correct. All right. So um, we're going to actually start off with the readings. Um, we're, 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 I can talk with you, actually. Okay, yes. So, yeah, so um, he's going to take center stage here. Oh. Are you stand up here? Are you gonna, no, I'm you definitely going to. Yes, go down there, yes. Mm. Um, Gorka Mizzou was chosen by Bookless Magazine as one of the 10 best debuts of 2008. Um, and also is a notable book for 2009 by the Children's Literature Assembly. Um, Rob was an ALT from 2002 to 2004, and he is from Narakin. All right. It's all yours, Rob. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so uh, some of you may be looking at this going, maybe I can get it cheaper, but uh, as a, as a soft cover. It's not a soft cover yet. This is an advanced, an advanced reader's copy. 
you must get the hard cover. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, my book is called Zorgum Zoo. It 